What's up everyone? I'm Shetty then. And I'm Chantel. In this week's video, we're going to go over a brief history of the undocumented immigrant movement. So let's start with what's probably the most recognized name in the movement, the DREAM Act. The earliest predecessor to the DREAM Act we have come to know were introduced in 2001. But back then, they only talked about pathway to permanent residency. Throughout 2001 to 2010, the language of the bill changed to include a pathway to citizenship. The text of this bill was included in several other immigration reform bills, but with no luck in becoming a law. Networks of dreamers, organizers, advocates created momentum to finally pass the DREAM Act. It passed the House of Representatives, but... It failed to pass the Senate by five votes. FIVE VOTES! But the fight didn't stop, and on June 15, 2012, all efforts led us to some form of relief. <laughs> Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, aka DACA. This policy, not law, was announced by President Obama and carried out by the Department of Homeland Security. So where do we go from here? In the fall of 2012, undocumented people and allies who are part of the largest network of immigrant youth leaders, United We Dream, played a huge role in changing the focus of the movement. The goal? Comprehensive immigration reform. In 2013, a new bill came out that gave the movement hope. The Border Security, Economic Opportunity, and Immigration Modernization Act. It included a pathway to citizenship, but it wasn't perfect, and organizers throughout the country fought back against amendments that made the enforcement measures worse. No matter what the argument was for or against the bill, it was continuously stalled and is considered dead by the United We Dream Network as of the fall of 2013. Some advocacy organizations continue to push for support for the Immigration Modernization Act. The United We Dream Network changed its focus to pushing for administrative relief in 2012, which included expanding DACA to our families, ensuring all dreamers benefit from DACA, and widespread incarceration of our communities. On the local level, organizers have been pushing back against policies like secure communities, which allow for many partnerships between ICE and the county sheriffs that lead to many non-criminal immigrant deportation. In the last couple of years, we've seen undocumented leaders and allies stopping deportation buses, connecting with their families between the borders, committing civil disobedience, lobbying and pressuring Congress, and even standing up against the president himself. The struggle is real. <laughs> but together we can create change. We've been building a lot of momentum and the time is now. There are many stories of this movement that we are unable to cover here, such as those of our undocumented Asian and Pacific Islander community, undocumented black community, the undocumented queer community, various faith communities, the stories of migrant children, and many more intersectional identities. Many people are affected by our movement. In some way, you've changed someone's life. Your existence has brought a face to this very real, very human movement. Together we can work toward the day we can see justice for our community. Word. So tune in to next week's College and Complicated's UndocU. Together we can work toward a day we can see justice for our community. Is that still? <laughs> it's just a little bit French <laughs> to where it sounds like a question. Together we can work toward a day we can see justice for our community. <laughs> I forgot my part. <laughs> I was like... Thanks. <laughs> that's not what I was going to say. That's not my, that's not my line. <laughs>